According to the city police, 16 women died at the hands of their loved ones in 2014, and this year, passion killing, as it is called, continues to soar. Just recently, an incident of a man who brutally murdered his girlfriend with a panga and hanged himself shortly afterwards was reported in local media. It is incidences like that that men engage wants to eradicate. We want to create a platform where men are involved and we bring on and mentor boys into wholesome, helpful men that are there taking nation forward. So when we are talking about development, when we are talking about peace and stability in Namibia, when we are talking about peace at home, that men are involved and they are leading and they are bringing the boys along and teaching them along the way. Karuwaye Upi believes that this practice has become acceptable in society due to the way the media has portrayed it, adding that the media has a huge role to play in changing the norms, attitudes and beliefs of people. He added that instead of focusing on men being problem creators, the focus should portray how men ought to behave. In particular to look into how they report on gender-based violence and what are better alternatives to report on gender-based violence in such a way that we play a role as men engage in Namibia, we play a role and we engage with all men, perpetrators and non-perpetrators, to come on board through the media to educate ourselves, to realign ourselves with what's a good man, what's a good story, what's a good family, what's a good community, and that the media is playing a role in that. The workshop will take place at Arabush Travel Lodge in the capital and Karuwai Upi is encouraging all media houses to join in the discussions towards ensuring a violence-free nation.